I do a lot of business on the show, helping, you know, so many people have ideas and they don't know how to kind of get started. So what's your whole thread been? How did it, because, you know, they see you now so successful. Remember you, you were the first uh, Latina MTV uh, DJ, <laughs> which was a huge deal. And that was like yeah. the coolest job in the Thank world. Thank you, it was. It was so and cool. you were a weather girl, which most yes, people don't know, Yes, I was know, a weather right? girl before that. I started in the Spanish channel, yeah. Doing do weather in Spanish. Do you still keep up with the weather? Do you know? Do you always know um, what the weather's going to be like? The weather for me is always sunny. Yeah, nice. So, <laughs> so t tell us how the trajectory. Well, went. you know, I I started. Uh, I was doing House of Style, and I was doing a lot of television programming that had to do with fashion or beauty and, and just that whole part of the business, and I loved it. So when I had the opportunity to have a, a small clothing line, I started with a small sportswear line, it made sense for me coming right off of House of Style, and I thought it could be a great little hobby. Well, I think it's great to start off that way, to start off doing something that you love. Yes. Hoping that it will be a great business, but just knowing that you love doing it and that you're gonna have fun doing it and making sure that all the right pieces are in place. And when that was successful, we started slowly adding categories that made sense. That's when I realized I'm kind of starting a brand here. And then that's when you start thinking, well, let me make sure it's something that makes sense because it, it actually has potential. But you know, you can't build a brand overnight and I'm celebrating this year my 10th anniversary of, of having my brand. It's a great deal. Well, what you're saying is a great lesson because especially women who are on television, especially women who are on reality television, yeah. people think I'm on TV so I have to grab something. And it yeah. doesn't work like that. It has it to come from within. It has to be a exactly. your own platform, something that you're passionate yeah. about. And because if you love what you do, then you'll be good at it. Exactly. And in business, you know, women ask me all the time for advice. And I think we, we all watch what's happening in television right now, and especially with reality television, we see people kind of have a brand overnight, but, you know, give it a minute. Be it has to stand the people, test of time. Yeah, because people think that you can build a brand overnight. So I say to people, you know, be careful with what you're watching. It, it's not always what it seems. And when, you, when you're starting a business and you don't have the power of television, uh, it takes longer than that. So I think yes. we need to remember that we all need to be a little bit more patient and just you know, start one step at a time.